Everybody is looking for ways to save on a Disney vacation. In fact, prices have gotten so high that this woman apparently snuck into the parks with two kids that were not at the ages that she said, and she left in handcuffs. There's video, it's tragic, but we're gonna talk about that here on That Park Place. Hello, I am Jonas J. Campbell, an investigative reporter for That Park Place, and here with me today is Mr. Vash Guy. Vash, this is a this is a rough story, but uh, it sounds like this woman uh, tried to get away with some things that uh, were meant to save a few dollars, but uh, is going to end up with uh, maybe a larger legal bill in the end. I would think so. I would think so. Now, th this is a wild story, Jonas. I, I'll, I'll say this. And I mean, there have been so many great stories that we've covered here in that park place, T3PO and all of our uh, various platforms that, uh, you know, we are a little bit late to this one, but it's important nonetheless. And we have some more information that people might not know about this story. So let's go right to it. This via Mercury News. And I, I'm going to say this is a repost from Orange County Register because, you know, Brady McDonald and all that. But Alas, Disneyland mom responds to arrest pure lies and worst nightmare. Disneyland annual pass holder Jacenia Diaz tells her side of the story and promises to post the truth in a pair of TikTok videos right here. A Disneyland mom who was escorted out of the Anaheim theme park in handcuffs with her crying daughters has responded on social media to her arrest by calling the accusations pure lies and describing the day as her worst nightmare. Nightmare. Anaheim police arrested Jesenia Diaz, 26, of Torrance on Tuesday, September 24th at Disney California Adventure on suspicion of trespassing, according to spokesperson Sergeant uh, Matt Sutler, Sutter. Sorry, Diaz's arrest was captured on video by DCA visitors and posted on social media, quickly becoming a worldwide viral sensation. The woman in the video attempted to bring her children into Disney California Adventure without paying for tickets, something she has done before, according to Disney officials. Disneyland and DCA allow children under the age of three into the theme parks for free when accompanied by a paying adult. And apparently she was a magic key holder and had done this, well, as TMZ reports here, four times in two months oh, she had wow. actually done this. And you can actually see uh, the video of this actually occurring right here. Um, it is a very kind of heartbreaking story because... Uh, the, the children in this video are uh, crying out, help me in Spanish. Right. Um, I, I this whole thing. Over and over again, which is, uh, <laughs> see, uh, this just goes up on, on to the idea of what Disneyland is supposed to be. And I know this is DCA, but Disneyland Resort is the name of the entire resort. So it's Disney's fault for us calling this Disneyland at this point. But uh, there's a there's a conversational shorthand I'll engage in here. Disneyland is supposed to be a magical place. It's supposed to be that a child goes there and experiences some kind of wonder uh, when they go there. These are not like uh, when you're at Walt Disney World and and there are police officers in the parks, but they're also wearing kind of a Disney-fied police uniform. It's not like the Orange County police, which uh, <laughs> it's funny enough, this is also in Orange County, although it's a different Orange County. Um, mm -hmm when you get the real cops uh coming in not not that the uh disney cops aren't real cops but uh uh when you get the uh more regularly uniformed uh police officers coming into a disney resort that's a that's a big deal i'm gonna say it breaks immersion although disney doesn't really uh go for that in the same way that they used to you notice the uh, even the custodians and everyone else are here to just just uh, just stand in the way so that people don't get too close. They're trying to minimize the impact to other guests. I just think about these little kids here, uh, and I'm assuming that it's her children, but I don't know that for a fact here, that uh, Miss uh, Jacinia Diaz here, that she you know, took advantage of the fact that Disney does not charge for very small children to get into the park. She's also a local resident, and she just decided this was something she was going to regularly do to, uh, quote unquote, provide magic for these kids. And she did it in the most unethical way that you can do it, which is lying to Disney, essentially. Mm. Um, I, and now these kids will have a very bad memory attached to Disneyland. I, I wonder if the next time they try to go to Disney, if they're going to be wondering, because these are small kids. They're not as small as she's described, obviously, but they're going to be wondering whether or not the person that they are going with is going to be arrested. That's um, that's really not looking past the uh, the end of your nose there as far as planning. 
And I will say this was something that Disney was looking to avoid. If we actually scroll down all the way down, this article it actually says right here, police said Diaz was suspected of bringing the kids into the park without paying at least four times in the past two months. Disneyland offered to let Diaz buy tickets for the children and stay in the park, but she refused the offer, police said. Woman was uncooperative with Disney's security team and the Anaheim Police Department was notified. According to Disneyland officials, police booked Diaz and released her with a citation. Uh, now she is attempting to plead her, her innocence or her case, at least in the court of public opinion. California mother who was hauled out of Disneyland in handcuffs as her crying daughters clung to her has blasted the, quote, pure lies from iconic theme park. Uh, she's she's saying that uh, the truth will be revealed eventually and um and that uh, it, it isn't what it seems. However, you know, in my experience, you know, Disney doesn't usually get stuff like this wrong. And they do have a, a, a series of measures that they can that they have implemented in order to not just catch people in the act of like, um, uh, for example, like turnstile or, or, or entrance. What do you want? To, what do you want to call it? Uh, sneaking into the park, right? Right. Uh, but but they have a, they have a way of tracking you throughout the park as well. Um, uh, I think we heard within the last couple of years, I believe somebody actually made it as far as Big Thunder Mountain uh, Railroad at, on the Disneyland side of the Disneyland Resort and uh, was caught there and escorted out uh, at that that time. This one particularly uh, problematic because obviously the kids are involved. She's a magic key holder herself and she was trying to sneak her kids and subjected them to this uh, to 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 what is basically an arrest. Uh, while on property um and uh, she got as far as uh, looks like a pixar pier so there you go well this is this is tragic i i hate when situations like this come up again disney should be a magical place and uh, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be breaking the law uh allegedly I, should i say allegedly it looks like she's been caught on uh, on camera here and the the charges seem pretty clear i mean you're not allowed to uh, bring in someone for free unless they are two or under, which is also that age at which uh, maybe they're not going to fully perceive uh, what's going on. She's also pretty young. I mean, 26, in my opinion, is uh, is pretty young. This seems like a, a, a silly mistake to make with outsized consequences that she should have been fully aware of. Maybe she thought she would just be walked out of the park. I wonder if the handcuffs were really necessary. She was shouting at the police officers, um, some pretty strong language. I'm going to say language you probably shouldn't use in front of your kids. Um, there's probably an obligation at this point, if you are a parent, uh, to keep the situation calm as not to cause that trauma uh, to your kids. There's probably a way to um, end that day without also letting them know everything that happened at the park. They can read about it in the news. Uh, or when the when when their uncle spills the beans uh, one night at a Thanksgiving dinner uh, over a little chuckle there. I don't know. This is just craziness to me. People, if you are trying to sneak your kids, if you are trying to sneak into Disneyland, know that you will be caught and you will be trespassed. This is like this. It is an eventuality. Technology will catch up to you. You almost always need a smartphone to get through those parks anyways. And they can they can track you that way, too. <sighs> Vash, is there anything else we need to add here before we throw this to the commenters? You know, people are getting a lot more uh, desperate as Disney continues to raise their prices. And really, I mean, what was a uh, rite of passage for, you know, guests of, uh, let's say, a certain class of economic status. Well, as that's kind of being stripped away, I, and I could, I could see, I don't know, a desperate mother or something making a decision like this. And it's it's unbelievably unfortunate but that's i mean that's the reality of the situation here we hear all the time jonas about uh, worsening economic conditions or i don't know unions striking and so forth and, and just just all of that across the board uh, it's 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 tough out there and um you shouldn't resort to this by any means but can i can i can i understand sure yeah there are other ways to enter entertain your kids that don't involve breaking the law uh, but That's that being me. said, we want to throw this to our commenters. What do you think? That's all I'm going to say. What do you think? Offer your comments in the comment section down below. Uh, like this video if you found it informative. And of course, consider subscribing to That Park Place for all the news that should be fun. Thanks for watching That Park Place News. For more information, consider checking out www.thatparkplace.com. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like, 
and send this out on your favorite social media accounts.